Um, I didn't have any picks in documentary feature, documentary short subject, film editing. Again, I haven't seen most of these movies. Uh, foreign language film and makeup. Uh, I've got three nominees: Curious Case of Benjamin Button, The Dark Knight, and Hellboy Two. Now, I was originally going to go with Hellboy Two because of all the the fantastic creatures and characters that were uh, created, but at the same time. A lot of that was probably prosthetics with makeup blend in. There was a lot of makeup work. But I think that Benjamin Button might win it simply for the fact that they took an actor that everybody knows, aged him, and had to go through a full movie slowly, you know, making this guy appear younger and younger and younger. You know, um, this guy is the main character, so there's going to be tons of close-ups of him in the movie. And they had to pull off some real painstaking, subtle work to make those changes. And I think that's going to get nominated over um, the more fantastic makeup work um, in Hellboy. I mean, fantastic in terms of grander scale, more outrageous, obvious work. Um, I don't have a pick for original score, uh Original song, I don't have a pick. I hear a lot of the, mu the music from Slumdog Millionaire is really good, so I hope to check that out. But um, I'll save Best Picture to the end. That's 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 the big one. Uh, adapted screenplay: uh, Eric Roth uh, for Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Pat John Patrick Shanley for Doubt, Peter Morgan for Frost Nixon, David Hare for The Reader, and Simon Beaufoy for Slumdog Millionaire. Again, Slumdog Millionaire has got the heat. It's this year's juggernaut. My strong pick is that. Um, hopefully I'll get to see the movie because right now I'm just kind of going off of what other people say. But that's that's the kind of feel that I'm getting. Now, I, I have a very soft pick. Uh, uh, soft. I, I kind of feel like the Curious Case of Benjamin Button could slide in and shock. I don't know why I have that feeling, but kind of do. I don't know. Uh, best original screenplay. We have Courtney Hunt for Frozen River, Mike Lee for Happy Go Lucky, Martin McDonough, McDonough I hope I'm saying that right, for In Bruges, uh, Dustin Lance Black for Milk, and Andrew Stanton and Jim Reardon for Wally. You know, I don't have a strong pick in this category, but I'm leaning towards Milk. I don't know gut reaction you know it's sad as a screen uh, as a wannabe screenwriter you think I'd have a stronger pick or reason or have seen all the movies but you know what you're gonna do um, last category uh, best motion picture of the year we've got The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Frost Nixon, Milk, The Reader and Slumdog Millionaire if Slumdog Millionaire wasn't in the category I'd probably say Frost Nixon I just you know, it's the type of movie, you know, historical piece, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, real life situation. Um, it's the type of thing, you know, we've got great performances that, that Oscar seems to love. Um, but, again, Slumdog Millionaire seems to be the juggernaut. It's this great feel-good story. Um, everyone's falling in love with it, and I think it's riding a wave that just can't be beat this year so I think Slumdog is going to take a uh, best picture so um, there you have it my totally unscientific off the wall by the seat of my pants Oscar picks we'll see how right or wrong I am come Oscar night alright everybody thanks for watching and till then take care